Ladies and gentlemen, now today we're going to be having a bit of a chat and breaking down the brand new assault boss fight, uh, the Atlas Wall. And in comparison to Arctic Gear, this one is a little bit hectic. There's a fair bit going on and it can really quickly get out of control. If you're not on top of what's happening and dealing with all of the lasers and cannons and all that stuff that's spawning, but essentially you're fighting three different wars that need to be brought down in health threshold at a very similar time. So ideally, like you need to split the damage between all three of them or else they seem to shield and regenerate up uh, and get them down together while also dealing and hopefully cleaving a lot of the cannons and stuff that's spawning but I guess the uh, the best way to explain it is to uh, jump in and also everything in the atlas wall has a vulnerability to ion so if you're using um uh, an ion weapon ideally the ion charge cannon is insanely effective for this one if you're playing rare uh but yeah iron weapons are definitely the uh, the ones to go for and the charge cannon is absolutely immense for this fight because you can get a lot of value and damage off of the cleave uh which i'll show you very very shortly and kind of the plan with rare is to position yourself so that you're ideally cleaving like a cannon while also dealing damage to one particular wall uh, and hopefully king a and mojo have kind of a rough idea of uh, what's going on or are pretty smart and can quickly figure it out uh, but yeah we'll see uh, and as soon as we enter and get to the um uh, the boss arena, you're going to see three different health bars for each wall. Uh, top one, I think the bottom one is uh, top, and then like right and left. Uh, fairly fairly straightforward to understand uh, once we get into this one. So you immediately want to go to the middle, and I'm going to start shooting the right hand side. Using the ion charge cannon, you can see we immediately take this cannon down. I see there's not anybody focusing on the left hand side here as well, so I'm going for that to split out some damage. Uh, but both of them have decided to focus on the, uh, the top one by the look of it you can see it's regenerating a little bit here the right one is starting to regenerate when kind of uh, above the, uh, uh, the four bar threshold there so yeah you just need to kind of split the damage fairly evenly try and get them down and the bottom at this point is about to spawn some big cannons so we're going to try and nuke those down if we can because these are going to be incredibly problematic uh, and then go for the next row as well. So kind of two uh, two big nukes from the charge cannon usually does the job there. See, we need more damage on the left-hand side because the, uh, the middle one's going ahead. Um, and you can see it's shielded and healed up there if you're looking closely at the health bar. Uh, we also need more damage on the right-hand side. So uh, these lads, I imagine, are quickly figuring out the mechanic there. But now we've got these cannons spawned, so we're trying to get uh, some nice cleave value on this one. And uh, we need to go over to the uh, the right-hand side if we can, get some more damage on that. I think they actually managed to push through the regeneration and shield, just nuking the uh, the top one. So somebody was going uh, incredibly ham there, but we need uh, a little bit more damage on the, uh, the right-hand side there if we can. Let's get that one down. These lads are doing uh, some fantastic work damage-wise, I must say. Get that cannon charged up, and there we go. Let's go for the final one now. So yeah, as long as you can get the fight fairly under control, it is quite straightforward to deal with. And at this point, man, we're so close to the end that it just made sense to jump in. You can finish that one off. Um, so yeah, and overall, like not a uh, not a bad result there. So let's uh, jump in for another round against the Atlas Wall with Raya, just to showcase the fight again. And then we might go for a round maybe with Scardi. Uh, but we've seen a lot of Scardis, man. And I, I do believe that you need a, need a Raya, man. She's just amazing for cleaving down uh, all all sorts of the additional cannons and turrets and weapons that are spawning. So let's uh, charge that one up. See, just instantly one bang that one man with the epic uh, crafted ion cannon. So it's just uh, an absolutely fantastic one there. Let's charge up for the top wall. Looks like they're both nuking the one on the right hand side. So I imagine that one, you can see if you look at the health bar man, it's stopping, it's regenerating there. So they're quickly figuring out the mechanics, jumping on to the next one. Um, and I think at this point, actually, we do need to go down the bottom. It's going to, he's going to start spawning in a second. There we go. Had actually, a little bit more time to nuke there, but let's go for one more charge shot, and those should be down. Okay, these lads have got it. So let's uh, go to the one on the left-hand side. That one is uh, by far the most behind at the moment. See so if we can shoot it down absolutely massive amounts of damage I think some additional turrets are going to spawn very very shortly as well 
So again, as long as you can keep everything on lockdown here, man, it does become uh, relatively straightforward to deal with. And let's uh, nuke two of these down here. And uh, it doesn't look like anybody else has been killing the turrets, which is always a very, very fun time. Uh, it looks like we need to sort out the one towards the back wall there. Let's go for it, mate. Let's clean up some of these. It's one. I mean, it is possible to, uh, you know, heavily carry some uh, people in here, but it's definitely uh, um, a scenario in boss fight where you do want to queue in with at least one savvy player, ideally. And the uh, the ones down the bottom have spawned back again. So let's go and take care of these. Take care of business, man. These ones are very uh, very problematic. A lot of damage across the entire board. Let's go to the uh, the one on the left hand side. So this one is at the uh, the two times bar here. I think we can just about cleave that down. Awesome. Got some more cannons here and. Uh, Right, we've got uh, the top and the left hand side one, both on one bar now, so it makes uh, a lot of sense just to try and nuke them down. If we can cleave a cannon man, we might as well cleave a cannon. Let's go for the uh, the very top one here as well. Get a massive cleave man, the charge cannon is just almost too good, almost too good. And there we go, final hit, and we are absolutely sorted there, man. That was a um, uh, a bit, a bit of a, a bit of a heavy carry. Looking at those uh, those damage numbers, uh, almost seven hundred thousand. But those lads, they put in a solid effort. They stayed alive, so you've got to appreciate that, boys. You've got to appreciate it. It looks like King A is keen for another round, so. Uh, let's see what we can do. I think we're going to try and switch to uh, uh, Scardy here and see how he works out for this fight. Again, I haven't played him on this one. We actually did get a Crasher shotgun yesterday. Uh, and I think that one uh, does have the, uh, the border, which means it's uh, a little bit rare, a little bit spicy. Um, so let's equip that. Uh, do we have anything else that we want to equip? Let's not mess about too much with gear at the moment. We'll just go for that um, shotgun and hopefully it's going to be all right. But, uh, yeah, I hope we can have a bit of success with uh, Scardy here, man. I haven't played Scardy in this fight, so I don't really know how good he's going to be. But I imagine he's going to be all right if we can position the, uh, the shotgun uh, fairly well. But the shotgun as well doesn't have uh, the craziest range of uh, all, the, all the weapons out there. All right, let's just nuke in, fire off the, uh, the ultimate there, get some of those ones down. And then uh, we'll switch over to the, uh, the shotgun. That actually has uh, quite a uh, quite a spread range. <laughs> yeah, I need a little bit a little bit more practice, man. I, I don't know if the shotgun's uh, necessarily the uh, the best uh, one for this fight. Move over to the left hand side. Did a little bit of damage here, if we can, and then uh, we need to jump to the bottom very very shortly. All right, is this going to cleave two of them? It doesn't look like it, man. So I think I'm going to have to let's activate our hyper speed bullet mode. Burst them down one by one if we can. Let's go for the next one. And uh, can we fire off this? Is this going to take care of them? There we go. That's that's doing all right, man. That's doing all right. So, yeah, certainly not too bad. However, that wall to the right-hand side is, um, yeah, well ahead. So we don't need damage on that one for now. I don't know if we can, like, cleave both for the, the shotgun here. I think we should probably uh, try and use the... Um, Abilities a little bit more. Oh, that's a uh, pretty, uh, pretty effective. Get some damage in there. Ah, oh, we don't have the uh, the regeneration that we do on uh, Raya with this one. A little bit, a little bit more problematic. Well, let's keep on attacking in. I think actually, while the shield is active, that's when they regenerate. Oh, maybe it's nothing to do with the health. Actually, maybe it's just while they have the shield, you don't want to attack them. Ah, that maybe makes a little bit more sense, man. It's all coming together. Yeah, maybe as soon as you see that shield, that's... Um... The time to stop. Oh, I really need the ability to uh, regenerate on this man. 
Oh, no, no, no. That was healing so, that was healing so much there. Okay, well, at least we understand a little bit more about what's going on in this fight. So it doesn't look like they need to uh, be brought down together. It just looks like you need to um, uh, stop attacking them while they are shielding. But I don't know if, like, the one that's, like, furthest ahead in health um, puts the shield active. That That might be a criteria there. So I'm not entirely sure exactly what's going on. I think it might be something along the lines of that. There we go. Oh no, okay, that one's got the shield. Time to stop attacking. Feel like I don't have like too much <laughs> left. Oh, damn. Okay, hopefully this uh, this king can get me up, man. Fingers crossed. Okay, he's got a good position there. If he can get me up, that'd be amazing. Uh, that Atlas Wall is down, so we just need to to get sort out the bottom. Come on, boys. Let's push through. Let's go, big nuke. And then finally we got one one more to go. <laughs> Duh. We didn't get here. It's all good. Damn it. Got one more water burst down. Let's go for it, boys. There we go. Absolutely fantastic. So, Soid, I think it is um, something to do with, like, the one that's most ahead is going to get shielded. And then while they have the shield active, that's when they regenerate. So, um... Uh, definitely learn an additional tip for diving into that fight a little bit further. Uh, but yeah, it is a little bit hectic. I think if you've got definitely a skilled rare on the team, um, it's just really, really easy to clear up, man. Like, rare, we just absolutely carried those first two kills uh, and then got a little bit carried myself on the, uh, the third kill there with Scardi. But also, I don't think I had the uh, the right weapon. I think the shotgun that we chose uh, didn't really have the, uh, the range uh, that we were necessarily looking for. It's very close range and you kind of need a, a bit of a wider bigger cleave to uh be quite effective against the atlas wall uh but anyway ladies and gentlemen hopefully you did enjoy today's video against the atlas wall if you did feel free to smash that like button that'd be greatly appreciate it aside from that thank you so much for watching take care and i hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day